Hi everyone, welcome to you all in my YouTube channel. I am Akram Ahmed from Australia. I'm a pharmacist and health policy analyst and as a researcher, as you know, my if you have followed my previous uh, uh, videos. So today is uh, we are going to discuss about Saudi pharmacist licensing examination. A lot of uh, pharmacist was asking about the Saudi. So today we'll discuss about the procedure and the exam pattern. And most important, what is the scenario? There is a jobs or what the job market at the current and there is a jobs or uh, is there or not i mean there is a scarcity or not you know so saudi as you know this is a very one of the uh, very big country in the in the gulf and uh, earlier days lot of pharmacist was working it's still is working those are especially from india pakistan bangladesh in all these countries they are all working there as a pharmacist and this is a as you know this is a islamic country and but Saudi is recently it changed a lot even the change the exam pattern and everything they change so you must know you know all this so let's begin here so Saudi pharmacist uh, now they call this SPLE earlier it was the name is a uh, different or, or, or uh, uh, SLE we can say Saudi uh, licensing examination is mandatory for PharmD and BS pharmacy professional if they want to practice in Saudi Arabia so anyone have PharmD degree or bachelor of pharmacy or bachelor of science in pharmacy in Saudi Arabia mostly they give the degree name BS pharmacy means bachelor of science in pharmacy or pharmd um, there's a two degrees in in, in saudi arabia so m both of these degrees they are the recognized uh, uh, for the i mean the sense of the examination and all these so for this if someone want to work in saudi arabia at the moment they have to clear this exam or someone want to go further studies like postgraduate training or something they have to have to pass the same examination i mean especially if you want to work as a clinical pharmacist or something that is like residency or something like us then you have to pass the same examination post graduation or all this so what is spla it is a six hour MCQ exam. This is a six hour examination. And you have to do a schedule breaks. You have to do a continuous exam. And this is a 300 MCQ. You know, this examination is a six hour examination and 300 MCQ they will ask. And uh, total mark given for this examination is about 800 marks. And 800, these are total marks, maximum is uh, 800, but minimum, if you want to pass, you have to score minimum 530. Uh, need to pass. This is it, 530 is the uh, cutoff, mostly the minimum you have to pass in all these. So basically, earlier it was very easy, and a lot of the Indian and uh, uh, Pakistanis, they just uh, clear pometric and then, then they go there uh, easily they got job there but now they follow the pattern is from a NAPLEX from US or FPG so if you want to work in Saudi Arabia so you have to be see the standard of this examination is compare I mean it's like FPG so, so in your mind you must be like you are going to sit in the uh, uh, in, 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 in the US so if you are planning to US and the same pattern then that's uh, Saudi also they will follow I mean the blueprint from this uh, the. so earlier it was very easy but nowadays the exam is not easy so if you see eligibility already bachelor degree in farm or something because you know the change if you see the Saudi Arabia earlier it was lot of the even the faculty they are from higher from india or pakistan but nowadays they are very restricted is nowadays is going like saudinization i mean the local person they are giving the job to locals not they are not not hiring from abroad even if you see they are the uh, earlier people are not uh, educated they are not going for pharmacy education and all these so mostly they hire from the other countries but nowadays there are some of the saudi universities in the top 100 list you know you can see i mean the like king fahad king abdulaziz have pharmacy king saud have the pharmacy king khalid have the pharmacy and the king Faisal have the pharmacy those are the top universities and they all are offering farm d and their farm d standard is very high some of them even the recognized by the uh, acp from us and all these so their standard is very high that's why they are implementing i mean they are changing uh, a lot uh, especially last few years so the exam pattern especially they covered uh, the 
and the whole exam uh, they make into four part first part is uh, like 10% uh, is like basic biomedical sciences for example like anatomy physiology microbiology or those type of question then pharmaceutical sciences like uh, pharmacognosy pharmaceutics and all these then 20% they are given the weightage for social uh, behavioral administrative sciences becomes like pharmacy practice and clinical so it is about from pharmacy practice itself they are given like 55 percent so those are the clinical those have very good especially those have farm degree graduates they can easily clear this examination but those are be form they can be a uh, somewhat uh, tough for them because of the many subject you are not studied in be form for example farm economic farm epidemiology or um, farm vigilance and lo a lot of the subject uh, they are in pharmacotherapy you know or the uh, case based scenarios and all these in oski and all these you know so but what is the current scenario in saudi arabia in saudi organization i mean they are preferred to hire a local pharmacist they are uh, removing even those are working uh, nowadays they are not uh, uh, renewing the contract to so the salary nowadays are very less are like four to seven thousand only saudi real they are paying is especially in the retail pharmacy so if you pass this exam and you are going to work the salary is decline and there is not much opportunities available in saudi arabia currently and earlier many of the pharmacists passed the exam in, in india or pakistan and then they will go on visiting visa but nowadays if you are going on visiting visa there is no chance to get a job you know so you have to better you have to apply from your own home if you go then you go or maybe you have someone in saudi arabia if they can help or they can offer to you job then it will be a good for you so currently i can say is uh, and it is not the right time to move to saudi arabia and another disadvantage if you because uh, the, the level is very high if you can clear this fpg then definitely you can clear that the caps exam is very easy in uh, in the Australia and if you want um, like uh, uh, Canada as well if you are prepared that FPG then you, uh, you, you also can be clear that PBC then US the FPG so the tough exam is very tough and salary is very less and there is no PR as well you know so there is no I can say uh, much opportunity in Saudi Arabia but still if you want if you want to work then you can be uh, uh, all these steps yeah, you can follow so please follow me on uh, on facebook and instagram and thank you for watching this video